Hello everyone, this is Dory from FineTuners.ai and today I'm going to show you how to create an army of fake profiles with AI. Now, why would you want to create an army of fake profiles? Well, this is actually a needed feature in game companies who have a multiplayer game but their player base is still not big enough. So they create bots to play against real people and the bots need convincing profile images. Now, what exactly are convincing profile images? This is not a convincing profile image. I mean, I love the quality of it, but the girl is too pretty, perfect composition, perfect lighting, amazing skin, and these three girls look very similar. So we need images that look more like these. Not always in focus, sometimes dirty, with a variety of poses and real people not trivial for AI. So I'll show my workflow with you, beginning with creating infinite prompt variations to creating at scale and ending with resizing and compressing the images. To gain prompt variety, I use an extension called Dynamic Prompts. Install it via the Extensions tab on Automatic 11.11. Once installed, you will see it right here. With Dynamic Prompts, you can add a lot of variety to your prompts. For example, when I write a photo of a cute animal, I get many different animals. The word animal is a wild card, and Automatic 11.11 chooses an animal from a list of animal names I prepared beforehand. To create my army of fakes, I composed many lists of many variables such as ethnicity, hair color, hair length, types of skin, and many more. To make sure they look natural, I added to my prompt many words that usually go into the negative prompt section, such as ugly, chubby, bad skin, blurry, out of focus, etc. Here's an example of a prompt, but I hate reading long prompts, so let's sing it. Full body, a ugly, chubby, ethnicity, subject, smile and facial features, hair, color, hair, bad skin in a setting, background, lighting, hyper, detail. Photography, soft light, cover, camera angle. Okay, now that we have a prompt that works, we need to create more. In a document, create variations of that prompt using different wildcard lists. Come up with about 10 of them, different ones. Copy to your clipboard, scroll down to the script option, prompts for files or text box, and paste your prompts here. Now, set the batch count to 100 and the batch size to 5. Assuming that you have 10 prompts, you will get 5,000 images from this batch alone. When these are done, change your checkpoint to a different one and do it again and maybe one more time. You will end up with 15,000 images and now the fun begins. You will have to go over them manually. Some images will have humans with very strange physics, others will be completely naked, and God forbid, your eyes may see pixels that look like and even So yeah, working with AI is great, but manual work is always a part of the process, and whoever tells you differently is lying. So now we have a huge folder of anatomically correct and dressed humans, but in different sizes, and each image weighs a ton. So, to sort out the sizes, I'm using this super awesome free software called Shutter Encoder. The winner of Best UI Design of 1996 may look slightly outdated, but it surely can take a huge folder of images and resize them with a the click of the button. To compress these images, I use another free but visually challenging software called Pingu. I've been using it for over a decade and it does a terrific job of compressing images in bulk. And with that, your army of fake profile is ready to be deployed and hopefully you won't need them for long because your game is going to explode. In the meantime, subscribe to get some more fresh AI content. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>